What's going on, people? It's your boy, The Black Love. You know who it is. And I want to make a commentary with Call of Duty, and I played it. It's fun. Whatever. I don't know. I want to talk about how money really changes everything. I know it's something you already know, but lately I've just been seeing it more and more. You know, everywhere you go, it doesn't matter what it is. Music, movies, YouTube, gaming, whatever. Whatever the industry is, when money gets involved, it's both a good thing and a bad thing. It's a catch-22. Sometimes, in some cases, you get a better product, but in a lot of cases, what you get strays from that core values, the core concepts that it started from. You know, recently I saw the movie Star Trek in the Darkness, and it's no it's no lie, I'm not going to act like I'm not. I'm a huge sci-fi fan, and I'm a huge Star Trek fan. You know, that's one of my things. And I saw this movie, and it was the epitome of corporate takeover. It was the epitome of a money grab you know it was a complete alienation of the fan base for the sake of selling tickets to get people who aren't necessarily interested in the core material to watch to, to buy movie tickets get that popcorn get all that to fill the theaters and watch a movie that they probably wouldn't have watched otherwise you know they added a ton of action and in all honesty the writing it just it went away from the actual character development that you've known over the years, you know. I'm not from the original generation, you know, from the original series. I'm not from the 60s or anything like that, but I have an enjoyment of the different series, the different movies and stuff going all the way back to when I was a little kid because it was cool to me, you know. The, the, the core concept of it was a utopian society. It was a future that's different from ours. You know, things like racism and poverty are abolished and intelligent people, the best of mankind, go out into space, explore, seek out new life and new civilization. That's what it was. It wasn't some bullshit love story with some bullshit action. And I know I'm going on a rant here, but it's the same thing in music. It's the same thing in games. You know, we do a lot of complaining about video games that stray from what the core followers, the core players are into. You know, Call of Duty, for example, when they do too much to change the mechanics of the game, or even more than that, they don't support it properly, but they still release a new version every year. It's the same thing. And I'm not making this video to complain about it, but I'm just talking about the concept. You know, it's about the money. You know, any good company wants money. They want to continue to sell products, and they want to get new people involved who may not have been involved in the... In the playing of the franchise or, or watching their movies music is the same way too you know they want that hit to be on the radio whether it's a one-hit wonder or not they want it to be played all summer long all year long they want every radio station to constantly play it they want to make that ad revenue they want to make uh, promotion deals they want to do all types of stuff with these songs and everything like that and it takes away from the creativity the artistic ability of creators you know when you look at narrative storytelling in movies and TV, as soon as something becomes a blockbuster hit, a lot of times it, it eventually strays from what made it successful in the first place. You know, especially things that have cult following, small followings that grow and get bigger and bigger on their own. It's insane when a big company takes over and says, look, what can we do to make this even bigger? Because there is no satisfaction in the status quo it's about how much bigger something can get how much more money you can get so I use my example of this new film Star Trek in the darkness as, a, as an example of that because that's what it was to me you know seeing that movie that's what it was to me it took away from what I enjoyed as a kid and what I still enjoy today it took away from that and completely alienated an entire core fan base just based on getting new people who are not involved to see it. I personally think that there needs to be a lot less of a money grab when it comes to art, when it comes, whether it's music, whether it's gaming, whatever it is. You know, you gotta make money, of course. You gotta sell games, you gotta make money. But when you alienate fan bases, that's how you kill franchises. That's how franchises die. That's how, you know, look at the Batman movies from back in the day. After the 1989 Batman movie and everyone was like, cool, this is a more realistic, dark version, not like the campy Adam West. It was cool. 
As soon as they started trying to sell lunch boxes, they turned it into a joke. You know, have Schwarzenegger in there doing these crazy one-liners and everything like that. But anyway, my rant is basically done. I just want to say, this is what it is. This is how it is. Money changes everything, but my hope is that for the future, this won't be the case. For the future, I hope that people look a little bit less towards how much money you can grab and start looking at how great a product you can put out. Anyway guys, I'm your boy The Black Love. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm out. Peace!